hello and welcome back this is sunil your instructor for this course and in this lecture i'm going to download the latest version of mongodb that is mongodb 3.2.7 so till now we were using mongodb 3.0 and now mongodb 3.2.7 the latest version has arrived so i'm going to update the download and installation process with the new version so to download mongodb latest version that is 3.2.7 we need to come to the website mongodb.com and when you come to this website you can see the download link here on the right top corner of the website when you click on this link it will take you to this page which is mongodb download center and when you scroll down you can see mongodb installation and download options so here you can see community server, enterprise server, ops manager, compass and connector for BI tools, business intelligence tools. Okay. So we need to download the community server for our use. So to download that you can see here they have given the various operating systems for Windows, for Linux, for OS X, Solaris. So you can choose your operating systems and proceed with the download process so i'm choosing here windows and you can see there are uh, several options i'm choosing the first one windows server 2008 r2 64 bit latter with the ssl support so you click on the download msi and when you click on this the download process will start and you will be downloaded a file that is this file mongodb iphone windows okay okay msi file and this file is uh, approximately 101 MB. So it may take some time depending on your internet speed. So wait for the download process to complete. And once it is complete, you need to double click on this. So double click on this and then the Windows installer will start preparing the installation process. And you can see this message. Welcome to the MongoDB 3.2.7 setup wizard click on next and you need to read the general public license information and once you read finish reading all these things you can click on i accept the terms in the license agreement and click on next and you can select the custom process and complete so i'll recommend choosing the complete click on and then you'll see the install option here click on the install and the installation for the mongodb will start and it will ask for the admin approval you click on yes and then it will start the installation process see here it is copying new files and all those stuffs in the background it will do we need not to do anything and now it is done so click on finish and once it is done you can go to the program files and see here there is a mongodb folder here which is just now created okay so when you click on this you can see the mongodb server 3.2 and here you can see the bin okay so here you can see all the mongodb executables like mongo mongod mongo dump mongo export mongo files mongo import mongo blog mongo performance mongo restore mongo and mongo stat and mongo top so these are the executable files comes with the mongodb server so once you have installed the mongodb you need to copy this path mongodb server slash 3.2 slash bin and we need to open the command prompt and we need to type cd and then we need to paste the path and paste it here and then you can put the mongod Okay, and hit enter see here when you hit enter it will show you some message it is showing the PID process ID and the port 27017 default port used by mongodb and it is saying db path c data slash db is not there okay so that's why it is not started so what we need to do we need to tell mongodb where we want to start our mongodb so 
what I do, I'll create a folder here in D drive and I'll give MongoDB. I'll give a name MongoDB and why our MongoDB server has not started because when we try to start the MongoDB server, it will look for the DB path data slash DB. So we need to provide the path to MongoDB. So I'll create a MongoDB folder and inside that I'll create data and inside data I'll create a subfolder and I'll give it a name DB. Okay. So now we have this path MongoDB slash data slash db okay now what i do i'll try to start the mongo D, db server with mongo d hyphen db path we need to give the path for the db to store the data in the data slash db path and then i'll use the path d colon mongo db the folder name and then data slash db and hit enter so now mongodb will be knowing where it needs to store all the data so see here mongodb server has started and it is waiting for connections on the port 27017 so next thing what we need to do we need to open another command prompt and we need to go to the uh, this path so i'll copy this and paste it here and here we need to type the mongo and hit enter mongo sale version 3.2.7 connecting to test okay and see in the server part it is saying connection accepted from 127.0.0.1 one connection is now open one connection now open okay so now we are connected to the mongodb server so now our mongodb server has been started and we are connected to the mongodb we can use the so db yes to check whether or oh, any db is there so since we have just installed there is only one db that is local so we can start creating our mongodb databases collections from here so see you in the next lecture hello and welcome to the lecture installing mongodb on Ubuntu 16.04. I am Sunil, your instructor for this course and in this we are going to install MongoDB 3.2.9, the latest version of MongoDB. So the very first step is the step which I figured out while installing MongoDB on Ubuntu while I faced a problem. So I, when I was trying to install, I was getting a problem of unrelated or unmatched dependency and I was not able to install. So very first step is to run this command sudo apt minus update. So we need to run this command first. If you are not getting any error then you can continue with the step 2. But if you are getting the same error you can use this. Step. So what I did I have ran this command apt minus update and I hit enter when you hit enter it will ask for the password so you enter the password and it will continue installing the repository so what this apt hyphen get update will do it will just try to update the download packages and update the repository so it will always keep the newest version of the packages and their dependency so you will not be getting any dependency error so once you are done with this step one see here it will be processing for a couple of minutes and then it will show you this message show you this message so once done the next thing is we need to run this command sudo apt hyphen key space adv space hyphen hyphen key server and this key server dot ubuntu dot com at okay so this step is for generating the public key 
So public key for the software distributed are required by Ubuntu package manager that is APT that is advanced package tool which we need to install the packages or software on the Ubuntu. What this GPG key will do it will ensure that package is consistent and it is authentic. So we need this step to generate the public key. So we need to run this command. So you type this command it will generate the key. After that the next step is we need to let's see the document. The next step is creating source list file for MongoDB. So for that we need to create the Mongo list file in this directory that is etc slash apt slash source dot list dot t and for that we need to run the command this command okay so let's see how i run ran that command so see here we need to run this command okay so you i'll attach the document you just need to copy and paste the command because this is a long command and you hit enter and you will get it done it done the next thing is we need to since we have modified we need to update the repository so we need to run the command sudo space apt minus get space update so it will update the repository with the latest versions and then we need to install the mongodb for installing mongodb we need to run the command sudo space apt minus git space install minus y space mongodb minus org so why i'm using y because y means yes for all the prompt it will be yes okay for that we are using yes so sudo apt minus git install mongodb okay so it will read the package list and it will try to build the dependency tree and state information and it will information and it will start installing the mongodb so see here automatically installed and no longer required so it will show you some messages and it will start installing the packages like mongo cell mongo server mongos and mongo tools etc okay so once this command is successfully executed you will get this setting up mongo db hyphen org 3.2.9 that means mongo db is installed successfully on our ubuntu machine so next thing is we need to go to the directory lib slash system d slash system and here we need to create a file mongod.service so you can directory this cd use the command cd space lib system d slash system and then you use the command vi mongod.service to open the file in the vi editor okay and if you are not getting anything inside that you need to copy these lines and paste into the file so you need to copy this script and you need to paste inside the mongodb.service file but most of the time it will automatically be there okay so if it is not there you copy this script and paste in the file mongodb dot service and then save and close the file file and come back to the terminal so when you come back to terminal next thing is we need to reload the daemon we need to reload all the services so for that we need to what we need to do we need to run the command and we need to run this command system ctl space daemon minus reload so it will reload all the processes all the daemon processes and then the next thing is we need to 
start the MongoDB. So now we have installed MongoDB packages. We have uh, created the MongoDB service file and we have reloaded all the daemons. So next thing is we need to start the MongoDB server. So for that we need to run the command system ctl space start space mongodb sorry mongod sorry mongod so that it will start when our system will reboot every time okay and then after this command is executed we need to enable the mongod service so for that we need to run the command system ctl enable mongod and mongod server will be enabled from this file see here mongod dot service that file we have modified okay the next thing is now the mongodb server is running in the background and we want to know whether it is actually running or not for that to check we need to run the command netstat netstat space hyphen plntu so it will give you all the services that is running in the background in our ubuntu machine so see here not all process info so see here when you see the this ip 127.0.0.1 colon 27017 this is the mongodb server mongodb server will run on this ip so if you see this it means our mongodb server has successfully started so next thing is to check whether mongodb server is running or not we need to connect to the mongodb so for that just type mongo mongo is the mongodb cell that we use to write mongodb script and queries so type mongo and when you type mongo and hit enter you will see this mongodb cell version 3.2.9 connecting to test it means we are successfully connected to the mongoda mongodb server and we can start running our mongodb queries see here it is saying welcome to mongodb server uh, mongodb cell and see here all these things so next thing is we need to check so you can run a command you are into the mongo cell you can run a command so dbs to see all the databases available in the mongodb since we have just installed it is showing only the local database it means there is no database it created so we can start creating the database start creating the collections and inserting documents from the next lecture onwards so see you in the next lecture hi welcome back this is sunil and in this lecture we are going to download mongodb so to download mongodb we need to head over to the mongodb.org website and here you can see they have given information about mongodb document learn community there are lots of links and the company which produces the releases the mongodb there is a stats about the mongodb like 10 m plus download 30k 300k mongodb university student 35k mongodb user group members 16 upcoming events 30k plus github commits and so many things so this says how popular mongodb is now and how popular it is going to be so that's why we thought of learning mongodb so to download mongodb we need to go to the this link they have given the link on the very home page so click on that so i have opened in this link in the next tab and when you open that you will get this mongodb.org slash downloads and here you'll see the options to download mongodb so there is option run with mongodb cloud manager a UI to run and manage MongoDB. So we are not going to uh, use this. We are going to download MongoDB, the other option. So here you can see they have given options for Windows, Linux, Mac OS, and Solaris. So you select whatever operating systems you are using. I'm using Windows, so I'll select this and I'll select the option Windows 64 bit 2008 R2 plus legacy. Okay. 
and here there are two options download msi and download zip so i'll prefer so i'll prefer downloading zip file because it gives me lot of freedom to use mongodb so i'll download this zip i have already downloaded you just click on this and a zip file will be downloaded so we are downloading the mongodb 3.0.6 3.0.6 version so mongodb 3 the newest version that we are going to download so click on this and zip file will be downloaded so i have already downloaded it on my machine here so once the download is done you just right click on that extract that file to the folder or to the directory where you want to run your mongodb where you want to store your mongodb so i'll click on extract files and i'll go to the i want to put mongodb in a d drive and i'll want to give store this in extract this file into the folder called mongodb so i've created a mongodb extract files there so it will take few minutes to get the all the mongodb files to be extracted so just wait for that and once it is done we can go ahead and we can run the mongodb so i have installed i have extracted in the d drive mongodb folder see here the file has been extracted here so for the ease of use what i do i'll just cut this from here and i'll paste all the files here and now this folder because this folder is having a very complex name that's why i have moved all the files from this folder to the main folder mongodb and i'll delete this folder so now we have all the tools that comes with the mongodb like b bison dump.exe mongo.exe mongod.exe mongoose mongostat mongo so all these tools comes with the mongodb but for now we are going to use mongod.exe which is the mongodb server and mongo.exe which is the mongodb javascript cell so we are going to use these two in this lecture so the very first thing we need to do is we need to create two folders one is data so i'll right click and i'll create a new folder here i'll give it a name data alternatively you can put control cyprian to create a folder and inside data i'll create a another folder i'll put control cyprian and i'll give it name db so why i'm creating this data slash db because whenever you try to run mongodb server it will look for this directory to store all the mongodb data so what you create collection you create it will look for the data slash db directory to store all this data so now we have the data slash db and we have the bin folder here which is having mongo.exe and mongod.exe we are good to start the mongodb server so i'll open the console and on this console what i do i, I go to the drive where i have stored mongodb files so that is cd mongodb slash bin okay so here we have the mongod.exe so to start the mongodb server we need to run the command mongod so mongod is the mongodb server so we have to run the mongod you can run mongod.exe or simply mongod and then we have to give the db hyphen hyphen db path db path and then you have to give the directory for the path for the data slash db so mongodb slash data slash db and hit enter so now mongodb server will be started see here it is saying mongodb starting and port number is this and process id is this and it is showing the db path equal to this 64 bit and you will see the host name the your machine name and see here it is showing the db version 3.0.6 and windows and it is showing the storage see here it is showing the storage option storage option equal to db path colon the path the directory data slash db which we have created so it will store all the data into this directory it's showing waiting for the 
connections on the port 27017 this is the default port on which port on which mongodb runs so now i'll open another command prompt and i'll go to the directory d drive and i'll go to the mongodb drive mongodb directory uh, slash bin and now i run the mongo cell mongo cell is to connect the to the mongo server mongodb server so i'll run the mongo cell and see here it is saying mongo db cell version 3.0.6 connecting to test so it is trying to connect to the mongodb see here now it is showing connection accepted from localhost 127.0.0.1 0.1 and let's see what is happening here see here now it is connected so we can you can run a command show dbs to see all the default dbs so there are there is one local db already created so we can use this db or you can create a database by using a command use and then you can give the database name you can give any database name suppose i'm giving the database name as database name and i can Use. so now it is switched to database so this is the way we can download and start working with the mongodb in this chapter we will configure mongodb server with the with the help of a configuration file so i have created a configuration file and i have given it a name mongo.config file and inside we will give this configuration like bind underscore ip we will give the ip address so that mongodb server will bind to that ip so this since we are using on our local system we are giving the local ip here and then we'll give the port number by default mongodb server listens to this port 27017 and then quite equal to true so that only critical events and errors will get logged in the log log file and then we give db path equal to the path of the data slash db file and then log path equal to uh, the path for the log file so here i'm giving mongodb slash log so for that i have to create a folder here with the name log so that all the logs will get log in inside this folder inside a file called mongo.log this mongo.log will be created by mongodb server automatically inside this log folder when we start the server the next thing is log append equal to true log append will set this to true so that the log is not overwritten overwritten on the startup mongodb server so if you keep it false each time when you restart the mongodb server the log file will be overwritten so we'll keep it true then next is dia z log equal to 3 to give log file permission as a read and write operation so that mongodb server can read and write to the log file and the the last one is journal equal to true journal equal to true ensures that write durability and data consistency much as any journaling scheme would expect it to do so this is we keep as a true so that data will be consistent and only set this to false if you don't care about your data so this is the configuration file we'll save in that here and then we will start the mongodb server with a command mongo d and then we give hyphen hyphen config and then we give the path 
for configuration file mongo dv slash mongo dot config and then hyphen hyphen journal so oh, this is the command to start the mongodb server with help of a configuration file and we hit enter so when we see this message dirg log file this it means uh, mongodb server has started so to check that we will go to the d drive we are already there we'll just try to start the mongo cell so to start mongo cell we'll hit the command mongo and hit enter so see here again we are connected to the mongo cell version 2.6.1 connecting to test so we'll run a command so dbs to see the default databases so when we see this admin and local it means we are connected to the mongodb server and we can see the databases here 